Smile and learn. Hello, friends. Welcome to our cooking class. Today, we're going to learn all the cooking verbs you need to know to become a great chef. Ready? Here we go. Peel. Peel. Repeat after me. Peel. Super duper. Chop. Chop. Repeat after me. Chop. Brilliant. Fry. Fry. Repeat after me. Fry. Great job! Toast Toast Repeat after me Toast You're doing so well! Blend Blend Repeat after me Blend Good work. Heat. Heat. Repeat after me. Heat. Amazing. Cut. Cut. Repeat after me. Cut. Awesome! Way. Way. Repeat after me. Way. Way to go. Boil. Boil. Repeat after me. Boil. Awesome! Roast Roast Repeat after me Roast Brilliant! We've learned so many new verbs. Let's recap them so we won't forget them, okay? Peel Chop. Fry. Toast. Blend. Heat. Cut. Way. Boil. Roast. Well done, friends. That's all for now. Don't miss out on our next video about cooking verbs. See you soon! Hi there, little chefs! Great to see you again! Are you all ready to learn more cooking verbs? Squeeze Squeeze Repeat after me Squeeze Way to go! Strain Strain Repeat after me Strain 
Awesome! Great! Great! Repeat after me! Great! Fantastic! Bake! Bake! Repeat after me! Bake! That's it! Spread! Spread! Repeat after me! Spread! Right on! Grind! Grind! Repeat after me! Grind! Terrific! Stir! Stir! Repeat after me! Stir! Excellent! Mix! Mix! Repeat after me! Mix! Good job! Melt! Melt! Repeat after me! Melt! Well done! Pour! Pour! Repeat after me! Pour! Amazing! There are so many cooking verbs! Let's recap them! Squeeze Strain Great Bake Spread Grind Stir Mix Melt Four. Good work, everyone! You've learned so many cooking verbs. All you need to do now is start cooking your recipes using these verbs. See you soon! Hello, friends! Today, we're visiting the kitchen of a great chef to learn many words about this place. Are you ready to discover which utensils and electric appliances we use in the kitchen? Here we go! Fry pan A fry pan is a kitchen utensil we use to fry foods. Careful not to burn yourself! Fry pan Pot A pot is a round container with two handles. We use pots to cook food. Mmm, smells good. Pot. Pressure cooker. We use a pressure cooker to cook food quickly using water steam. Pressure cooker. Blender. A blender is an electric appliance we use to mix and blend foods. My fruit smoothie is ready! Blender Microwave A microwave is an electric appliance we use to warm up food quickly. Microwave 
Coffee maker. A coffee maker is a kitchen appliance we use to make coffee. Hmm, smells great. Coffee maker. Rolling pin. A rolling pin is a cylindrical utensil we use to flatten dough, like pizza dough, for example. Rolling pin. Toaster. A toaster is an electric appliance we use to toast bread. Hurry, pull them out! Toaster. Stove. A stove is an electric appliance that provides heat for cooking different types of food. The cake is ready. Stove. Can you remember all the words we learned today? Let's recap them. Fry pan. Pot. Pressure cooker. Blender. Microwave. Coffee maker. Rolling pin. Toaster. Stove. Thank you, Chef, for letting us visit your kitchen. We had a great time. See you around. Today, we're back in the kitchen of our friend, the Great Chef, where we're going to learn tons of new words about kitchen utensils. Are you ready? Kitchen knife. We use the kitchen knife to cut and slice all types of foods. Careful not to cut yourself. Kitchen knife. Cutting board. It's a flat surface that you chop food on. It can be wooden or plastic. Cutting board. Refrigerator. We put fresh foods in the refrigerator to keep them cool. Refrigerator. Freezer. The temperature in the freezer is very low. This freezes foods and helps to preserve them for a very long time. A freezer is usually part of the refrigerator. Freezer. Platter. A platter is a very large dish we use to put food on. Then we take the platter to the table and serve the food. Platter. Kitchen scale. A kitchen scale is the device we use to weigh foods. I'm going to need 10 ounces of flour for this cake recipe. Kitchen scale. Dishwasher. A dishwasher is an electric appliance we use to wash all kitchen utensils automatically. Dishwasher. Spatula. A spatula is a small pallet we use to spread frosting on a cake, for example. Spatula. Peeler. A peeler is a special knife we use to peel fruits and vegetables more easily. Peeler. Can you remember all the words we learned about electric appliances and kitchen utensils? Let's recap them. Kitchen knife. Cutting board. Refrigerator. Freezer. Platter. Kitchen scale. Dishwasher. Spatula. Peeler. Thank you, Chef, for showing us all these kitchen utensils. See you in the next video. Bye-bye, friends. Hello, friends. Welcome to the chef's kitchen. He's our great friend. This is our last video where we'll learn about kitchen utensils. 
Have you watched the other ones? Here comes the third video. Squeezer. We use the squeezer to squeeze juice from fruit like oranges or lemons. Squeezer. Skimmer. We use the skimmer to stir or scoop foods out when we fry them in the fry pan. Skimmer. Colander. We use the colander to strain liquids away or to sift foods. Colander. Grater. We use the grater to shred or grate foods into fine pieces, like cheese, for example, that we add on pasta. Grater. Ice tray. We use an ice tray to make ice cubes. You just need to fill it up with water and put it in the freezer. Ice tray. Kitchen mortar. A kitchen mortar is a container we use to grind or crush foods like garlic or parsley, for example. Kitchen mortar. Kitchen scissors. We use kitchen scissors to cut many foods more easily. Kitchen scissors. Bowl. A bowl is a deep dish used for serving foods. Bowl. Kitchen sink. The sink in the kitchen is where we wash dishes or kitchen utensils. Let's wash all the kitchen utensils we used today. Kitchen sink. Can you remember all the words we learned about electric appliances and kitchen utensils? Let's recap them. Squeezer. Skimmer. Colander. Grater. Ice tray. Kitchen mortar. Kitchen scissors. Bowl. Kitchen sink. Thank you, Chef, for letting us visit your kitchen. We had a great time. See you around. Hey, friend. Today is Grandma Antoinetta's 90th birthday. Oh, my goodness. She is from Italy, and I want to make her the most famous Italian dessert, tiramisu. Have you heard of it? It is a coffee-flavored cake mixed with mascarpone cheese. You eat it cold, and it's really easy to make. The hard part is going to be finding 90 candles. Will you help me get ready? The ingredients that we need are 300 grams of ladyfinger cookies, 500 grams of mascarpone cheese, four eggs, whites and yolks, 100 grams of brown sugar, two cups of cold decaf coffee, and cocoa powder. And now the utensils that we need. Two bowls, one beater, a spatula, a glass bowl. Now we have everything. So let's get to work. First, let's get our aprons. We don't want to make a mess. Let's mix everything with the beater. The brown sugar, the egg yolks, and the mascarpone cheese. Now let's clean the mixer well. If not, we won't be able to do the next step. Let's grab another bowl and we can whip the egg whites until they are fluffy. And now let's try it out to see if it turned out well. Let's flip the bowl over carefully. And if the mixture sticks to the bowl, we did it right. If it falls out, we have to do it again. Let's add the fluffed egg whites to the first mix, mixing them carefully up and down with the spatula. 
Now, the part we like most, dipping the cookies in the cold coffee. Now we have almost everything. Let's put the tiramisu together. Let's put the lady fingers we dipped in coffee in a glass bowl and then put the cream on top. We will continue until we have four layers. Finished! Now we just have to keep it in the fridge for two hours so it gets nice and cold. Meanwhile, we will clean the kitchen. See you in two hours. Oh, I think I fell asleep. Where were we? Oh, I know. We have to take the cake out of the fridge. Wow, it looks so good. We can't forget to sprinkle a little bit of cocoa powder before we serve it. Oh my goodness, I really want to try it. We are going to celebrate Grandma's birthday with the whole family. Thanks for helping me. I'm going to finish putting on the 90 candles. See you later. Uno, due, tre, quattro. Wow, it's super hot these days. I know, would you like a nice cold drink? How about a watermelon smoothie? It's full of antioxidants and vitamins. It's perfect for a day like this. Let's see the ingredients that we will need. 350 grams of watermelon without the seeds, three mint leaves, one spoonful of lemon juice, one cold glass of soy milk, one natural yogurt, one glass of crushed ice. These are the tools we will need. A knife, a juicer, a mixer, a glass, and a straw. Now that we've got everything, let's begin. First, we cut the watermelon into pieces. Ask an adult to help. After that, we chop up the three mint leaves. Carefully, don't cut yourself. We've also got to use the juicer to get some lemon juice. We put the watermelon into the mixer along with the mint leaves, lemon juice, a glass of soy milk, and the yogurt. Mix it all together. Once we've got it all, we add the crushed ice. We can decorate it even more if we put a little piece of watermelon and a straw. It looks amazing. Let's give it a try. Yum, it's so tasty. Very healthy and refreshing. Much better. Time to share it with some friends. Bye. Today in vocabulary about the home, we will learn things about the kitchen. But what happened here? The kitchen is completely empty. We have to fix this. Let's add what's missing. Let's take a look at what we need. The fridge. We put fresh food in the fridge so it doesn't go bad. The sink. We wash dishes in the sink. The stove top. We cook with pots and pans on the stove. Be careful, it's hot. The oven. We make pizza in the oven. I love it. The table. We eat at the table and we sit in the chair. Remember to sit properly when it's time to eat. The pot. We cook our food in pots. Perfect. Now we need to put everything in its place. Will you help me? The fridge. We are going to put the fridge here. Great. The sink. Let's put the sink on the counter. The stove. The stove will go here to the left. Perfect. The oven. Should we put the oven under the stove? Fantastic. The table. Let's put the table right here in this area. The chair. Finally, let's put the chairs here beside the table. The pot. Let's put the pot on the stove top. That way I can start getting dinner ready. That's it, we've got the kitchen. Let's review so we don't forget anything. The fridge, the sink, the stove top, the oven, the table. Team Co
cooking! Mike had a restaurant. He was making a special meal. Sam's parents were going to celebrate his birthday. Sam had celiac disease. Sam can't eat any wheat flour. Mike had been thinking about his meal for a month, but he got sick. Just a disaster! I feel terrible. <coughs> I can't get out of bed. But if I don't cook, who will? Poor Sam! Have no fear, Mike. I, your fairy godmother, have arrived. I'll make sure your customers get everything their hearts desire. Mike thought it was just a dream. He had a fever and he was so tired, he fell asleep. Celiac disease isn't a food allergy. People suffering from celiac disease can't eat food that has gluten in it. There's gluten in wheat, barley and oats and in food made with those grains. The fairy godmother waved her magic wand. Food processor whizzed to life. Knife woke up and pan yawned near the burner. The kitchen utensils were coming alive! Mike is sick, so it's up to you to cook today. Make sure you make a plan and work as a team. The fairy godmother showed them a list of dishes they had to make. She told them to be especially careful making Sam's meal. Then, in a poof, she was gone. Sam can eat salad. Cutting happens to be my speciality. So, get ready lettuce, tomatoes and onions. And we have to make some pies. I'll whip that up in no time. Dishes and diced food flew through the air. Food processor processed and processed. It was snowing flour. Most of the silverware was crying from cut onions. Flour is a food obtained by grinding up grains like wheat, rye or oats. Grinding the seeds produces a fine white powder. Wheat is the main ingredient in bread. Just a disaster! Food processor, you've got everything covered in flour! Sam can't eat any gluten, remember? Clearly, you can't just do whatever you want. Someone has to lead us. Pot said that she could do it because she was the biggest. And food processor said she should do it because she was the fastest. Pan just wanted to doze on the burner. Well, I don't need anyone to lead me. I did a fine job. Apparently, I'm the only one. Maybe I should go to another kitchen. You're wrong. You cut so much onion up and everyone ended up crying. I think we should consult with recipe book. He is wise and knows the ingredients we need and steps to take. The kitchen utensils accepted his proposal. The first decision recipe book made was to clean the kitchen. Then he got everyone cooking. Onions are vegetables with long green stalks. We eat the bulb and the root. Onions are made up of several layers. When you cut open an onion, a substance is released into the air and irritates your eyes and nose. Sam's food was important and they started with his meal. Recipe book sent them to look for the right ingredients. Then he told Knife to cut up the lettuce, tomato and apples for the salad. That was healthy. He taught Rowdy Food Processor to make flan. Mix eggs and milk together. Then add a pinch of sugar, but not too much. Steady as she goes, food processor. Hey, what's that smell? Is something burning? Pan, the steak is going to burn. Flip it over. I'm so comfortable here, though. 
I don't want to move. Can I do it tomorrow? Be careful! Everyone else's work depends on yours. If one person makes a mistake, it will ruin what everyone else on the team is doing. They all understood. Who cares if the potatoes were delicious if the steak was burnt? Salad is a dish prepared by mixing different raw or cooked foods together, mainly cut up vegetable. It can be served cold or warm. You can make vegetable, pasta or rice salad. Mike was terribly upset. When he felt better, he went to the restaurant's dining room to supervise. Everyone was eating! The fairy godmother bustled from table to table serving guests and clearing plates. When she saw Mike, she winked at him. Sam and his parents were sitting at the table. Sam was having an absolutely fantastic meal. Steak, salad, cut potatoes and flan. It was just as he imagined it would be. Seeing is believing. But how did you do it? The cook went to the kitchen and saw a recipe book acting as chef. He calmed down rowdy food processor, had inspired Pan to get a move on and got Knife to smile. They got all the orders out. A steak is a thin cut of white or red meat or fish. It's usually fried or breaded. You often have to work as a teen, but it's not easy. Everybody is special and has their own personality. Everybody has to work together. Recipe book, like the leader he is, got them all to work as a team and make a healthy meal. We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.